It all started when I decided to post my video. I got many, many comments on this video. Some were good, some were bad. But then, something really unexpected happened.
as you can probably guess, I can speak as well. During the 3D production that we have just experienced, I found that some of the participants were bullied in real life. In a way, they reenacted their own stories. Hi, my name is Guy Nativ. I'm a director, film director. I'm right now in the editing room and I want to tell you my story. When I was six in the elementary school, I suffered from bullying. My mum told me that it was really hard for her. I remember when I first read the script, I was like, okay, this is everything that I don't like in a person. These are the worst memories of my childhood. People would say things like, what colour are you? I was bullied. I was bullied quite a lot. I actually came to school every day and this guy used to wait for me and beat me. I was so afraid. I was standing there. I couldn't do anything. They saw me as a target and then it escalated. Just constantly isolation. So people who used to be my friends that weren't my friends anymore. When I remember about it, it's very tough for me. Everyone was laughing at me, that, oh, look, here's the fatty boy. And it got worse and worse, and in the end, I took money from my mum's purse, and I actually gave it to them to try and make them stop. There was a game. We had a bottle in the middle, and the girls had to spin the bottle. When the bottle faced me, they was like, oh no, Nicholas, oh, he's so fat, I don't want him, please no, can I spin the bottle again? I used to uh, suffer from uh, some kind of like group of people who used to bully me, calling me names and, um, you know, just being against me and I felt horrible. My mom didn't know about it that I was suffering, I had these feelings inside me, I couldn't tell anyone. I didn't tell her immediately that I, uh, I took money from her purse. Quite a long time I, I lied to her and she knew I was lying. And that was, that was not a nice feeling in hindsight. Lying to your mum is something you really shouldn't do because they, they know, <laughs> they always know. I thought I had no hope. I thought I see the darkness, I thought there's no one to help me, but I didn't know that there's people who wants to help me, I just need to reach out. But then uh, at the age of 18, something happened. I started to act a little bit different. She cared about me, so she wanted to help me, and that's why she sent me to a different school. I gained confidence in myself. Suddenly my voice changed and I felt like I've been through something. I grew my self-esteem. And only then I started to blossom. I'm glad I did because I moved school and I met some great people there. Became friends with everyone at that school. And I'm happy now. So, yeah, I was bullied in the past, but I'm okay now. These people who are being bullied, they think they have no one. Let them feel they have someone to talk to. Let them feel that you can stop it. Let them feel that you can help them get out of it. My message to the people who are being bullied, talk to someone. Talk to your brother. Talk to a teacher you feel that can hear you. Talk to your parents. Talk to, the, talk to your best friend. They will help you to put a stop to that. Today, um, I'm married to the most popular girl in the class, and I see that from a different perspective. Uh, but I'm very, very sensitive to people who are going through this um, bullying. And that's why when I made this project, when I directed this project, it means a lot for me. I was there. I'm fine. Don't worry. There's hope. In life, as in the movies, you can play the director's role. You can decide if it will be a comedy, drama, or a horror story. The power is in your hands.